give it a shot. Hey, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the song Everlasting God, which I wrote with uh, Ken Riley. Um, when I finished uh, studying in South Africa, I moved to England to study at Oxford University. And um, after I finished studying politics and theology, I began work as a worship pastor and a worship leader, which of course is the obvious choice after studying politics and philosophy. But um, I felt like the right thing to do, and so I, I stayed and, and worked in England, and uh, things were going pretty great. And then one morning I just woke up feeling slightly strange, physically strange. I thought perhaps I had the flu, that I had a conference to play, so I, I, um, I, I went to the conference and played for the week, and then I came home and, and rested, and I thought I'd rest for a week and uh, get over the flu. But a week turned into two weeks, turned into three weeks, and after six months, uh, I was still feeling this way. And um, eventually the doctors came back with a, a diagnosis and um, they told me that I, they thought I had chronic fatigue syndrome, um, which sounds complicated, but really the medical definition is you are going to be tired a lot, which was in fact the case. Um, what was really unusual and strange was that Jude, my wife, who at the time was my girlfriend, was also ill from it, and it isn't contagious. So um, at around about the same time, both our, uh, our respective bosses sat us down and said, we think you need to go home and rest. So um, in my mid-twenties, I moved back home to South Africa to live with my parents, which was delightful. Um, and they weren't particularly keen about the idea either, I don't think, although everyone was putting on a brave face. Um, but really what it felt like at the time was that our lives had come to a, a stop, a dead end, and it didn't look like we were going to be able to pursue any of the dreams that we held close to our hearts. It looked like we were going to, it almost felt like we'd retired and we were in our mid-20s. So um, uh, we, we began to cry out to the Lord and, uh, and just seek Him. Obviously we were distraught and we were just saying, Father, do you know where we are? Are you aware of what we're going through and um, and in the middle of all of that we rediscovered this chapter in the book of Isaiah 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 40 and in this chapter the Lord is speaking to his people Israel who are also going through a really tough time they're they're in exile and a long way from the glory days of Solomon's temple and David's rule and scattered to the four winds and the Lord says this to them which gave me great courage he said do not think that your way has been disregarded by me don't think I'm unaware of what you're going through. And when we read that, we, I was like, he knows. He knows where we're at. He knows what we're struggling with. And then he goes on to say this. He says, but know this. I am the everlasting God. I do not grow weak. I won't grow weary. Young men may grow weak and weary, and youths may stumble and fall. But those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up on wings like eagles. They will walk and not grow weary. They will run and not grow faint. And uh, it's an extremely encouraging promise from the Lord. That is a promise to everyone who calls on His name. And uh, although we didn't find good health immediately after that, and uh, uh, it's been a struggle, the, the, the fact is we're not living at home anymore. I, we're living in California, and I get to travel the states and around the world uh, worshiping the Lord and leading His people in worship. So... Um, uh, that's where the heart of the song came from. Ken Riley uh, brought some musical idea to me, which was really great. And uh, together we managed to, to finish the song. It's been a, a life prayer for our family. And we have found the Lord to be faithful. He has carried us. And uh, I pray He carries you too.